Here's how I'm making an ad, and I do all of my ads this way because it's proven to work the best. So here's the post on my page, and I've zoomed in so you can see clearly. I have a simple one sentence here with a link on it, and then I have a video. And what I ultimately want is social proof on this video from the ad. I want traffic, I want people paying attention to this. So attention is the main thing I'm looking for. And so one thing I can do to do that is to make an ad. That's very effective. So I'm in the ads manager. I do not use Boost Post. I'm in the ads manager. And so what I do is click on create ad. And I'll zoom out so everything's in at once and zoom in a little better. And what I want to do is just boost this post. I want to get more people interacting with the post. And so I click on boost post. And then I go down here. And now I can send people a website, I can do conversions, but what I do when I first start one of these off is I boost a post. And then whichever post works best in a boosted post, then I will use that to send people a website or do conversions. So I pick this post, it's the most recent, so it's right up there, I click continue. And what I'm going to do, I'm making a new campaign for this, and I'm going to call it uh, iTunes, USA. So this is sending people straight to iTunes that are on the podcast. And that's what I'm looking to do. So what I do here, I can use any kind of audience I want. One thing I can do, I can grab a custom audience from people who visited my website already. So I've got 1900 of them. So you'd think that might be a decent place to start with my audience and to try out a new post ad. So what I've done, I've got my Jerry Banfield custom audience here. Now I often will start with a very simple targeting, like a custom audience or just a broad targeting to begin with, and then offer it that way. So another strategy, if you don't have a custom audience, I'll do it this way. I'll put in United States, or there we go. And what I'll do on this, I do a bit more of a broad audience. And so I'll bring it down to like in the 40s, say 51 max. And I'm doing a broad audience first to just see who actually is reached by this. So what I want to do is target people who are potentially interested in a podcast. So what I can do then is go down to behaviors. I want to get people who have iTunes because my link to iTunes will help people click on it and make it more relevant. So I will go all mobile devices by operating system and then I will go all iOS devices. You can see that narrows down my choices a lot. I have 63 million users. Now I can try and narrow it a bit more. So I could do something like iTunes Store to try and really double target it. But now that's likely to give me a more expensive audience. So I could also try things like podcast and then you'll see this is a much smaller audience down here. So I'll give that a chance to start. People interested in podcast iOS device. And again, what I do, I just create a lot of different ads. So this is just the first ad. I put them on small budgets and I test out what actually works. I look at the data. So I've given a wide age range so then I can look at the reports and see which age actually works the best instead of trying to predict it. So I go in here and then I make the ad set name and I just call it something related to targeting. So iOS 18 to 51 and then podcast. So that tells me what I've targeted in it. And now I can put desktop news feed here and I don't need any advanced options. And I have mobile news feed. And so this is where I'm really trying to get someone that'll go check the podcast out who might watch the video a little bit or who might not. So I've got that there and I take the right column out and now I hit place order. So that's exactly how I'm doing my ads. And I've got a 15 plus hour video course on how I'm doing my ads. So this is the simple short version of how I'm doing my ads. And I'll give you a quick preview. I'll show you exactly what I do to scale this up. So what I do now, I change ad set to make a new ad set. So I don't know that that necessarily worked the best. So what I'll do is take the targeting off 
I'll leave the iOS on, but I took off the podcast targeting. And now what I can do is try something else like business and industry. I could try family and relationships. The thing is I don't know what will actually work the best. So I can just try essentially a random broad category here. It'll give me a really large reach, which is okay. I'm just testing things out right now. And then I can do my daily budget of $2 a day, and then I call this business. So you can see I do a bunch of these then. I go through and do a bunch of these to see which one really works, and then all the ones that don't work, I just pause those after, usually it only takes a couple days to see what the cost is going to be like. The ones that do work, then I continue using those. So I'll make one more real quick to show you how that works. So I'll take business and industry off. I like some of these broad targeting categories are really good, but you can also do something more niche like Eckhart Tolle. And so you can see this is a real small audience then that likes Eckhart Tolle. So then I can try Eckhart Tolle's audience and I can just copy the name up from over here, page down, paste right here, go down, and then I hit place order. So I'm hedging my bets here. I'm figuring I'll be lucky if one thing works really good. And so then I can try one more new ad set. And you can see it's just then related to how much effort I put into it, how much effort and time I spend trying to put into various different activities on here, how much different interests I'm willing to target, how many different ideas I'm willing to get and how many different posts I'm willing to try. So it just comes down to effort right here and that's good news. Now I'm pretty sure this one will get approved. I'm pretty sure this video will get approved so I went and made these beforehand. But you don't wanna go do this before you have a good idea that what you're doing will get approved because you could get a whole bunch of ads rejected. You don't wanna waste that time. So I'll do one last one here, family and relationships. You can see this is another big targeting. So I've got some narrow targeting and I've got some big targeting options. So that's what I do and then I hit place order and then I'll let the data show me what actually works. So from here, I'm not going to do anything else. I let the data show me what really works. All these are in review now and so I definitely don't wanna put any more time or effort into doing this until I actually get these approved. So that's how I'm doing my ads on Facebook now. I've given you a total run through of the main things I do. I make these video posts, I put a link to something like iTunes, my website, or Udemy, so people who like it can learn more. I try and get people's attention with these videos and get people who are going to be lifelong subscribers and followers. I then make ads in a bunch of different areas. I see which actually works the best. As you can see, this one works really good. And you can see this one, all of these are working about the same. So it's hard to tell which of those is best. So then I usually just keep making more until I find one that works really good. So thank you for being here and learning about Facebook with me. I hope this is useful for you in explaining the basics of being successful on Facebook and giving you a bunch of different strategies you can use to build yourself up on Facebook.